Apple announced its new phones, but that gave a whole new operating system. The iOS 7 stormed the scene this past week with its new sleek design. Mac users like iSchool student Sam Schleichhorn were completely amazed as to what it had to offer. Well, I think it's like a totally new, redesigned operating system from the ground up, and they've totally changed all aspects of it to make it a lot more simpler and easier to use. So that's something I really uh, liked after I downloaded was how much easier it is for me to go about doing everyday tasks from emailing and web browsing. Others reacted like Schleichhorn and couldn't wait to get the latest design for their phones. He said based on his experience, he definitely wasn't the only one eager to get a hold of it. So it came out at about 1 p.m. Eastern time on the day it came out. So I downloaded immediately afterwards. And since so many people were downloading it, uh, I got a couple of errors while I was trying to download it. So it took, it took a couple of minutes to retry, but after that, it was a pretty smooth process. Then there were the iPhone users who were still skeptical of the latest update. Jarrett Lee says had an iPhone since 2011 and didn't think that change was any good. I'm due for an upgrade on my phone, so I might as well just consider waiting to get the new iPhone 5S. I just don't want to have any fear of erasing any memory. That's one thing that I've heard. I have the iPhone 4, so I would be a little bit worried if I do decide to upgrade it and get the iOS 7 that all my contacts, pictures would be deleted, and that's something that I really don't want to have to worry about right now. The new iPhone operating system has a whole new Siri and iMovie and iPhoto come for free. If you currently have an iPhone, you can still download iOS 7 for free. Mark Weber, NCC News.